Hey everyone, welcome to On The Rocks. I'm your trail guide, Claudia Collins, and I'm taking you along for my adventures as I check hikes, waterfalls, and other outdoor activities off of my Arizona bucket list. Today, we're hiking Old Caves Crater Trail in Flagstaff. Old Caves Crater Trail is a three and a half mile trail with 613 feet of elevation gain, and it's rated moderate. Today, we're up in Flagstaff, Arizona, and we're hiking Old Caves Crater Trail. I didn't do a whole lot of research on this hike, but I knew we weren't quite in hiking shape and ready for Humphreys Peak yet, so we're just working our way up and starting here. I hiked Humphreys Peak about two years ago and I made the mistake of driving from Phoenix straight to Mount Humphreys and began the hike. Little did I know that that was way too much elevation gain for me in one day. While the hike was gorgeous and fulfilling, the hike down from the peak was tough for me because I got altitude sickness. That's why this trail felt like the perfect fit for a day trip. So this hike is a loop but it's not this loop. So we're just gonna keep going up a little bit further and figure out the way to go. And there's the split just ahead. All right, we made it to the loop and Mia's taking us this way. One thing I instantly loved about this trail was the sheer contrast to hiking in the valley. It was shady, cool, and it felt really like it wasn't in Arizona at all. It was about 60 degrees when we began, but I ditched the jacket because I knew I wanted to make this more of an exercise for the day, and I would have gotten too hot too fast. The elevation gain was gradual, but really opened up to the surrounding views. Boop. I don't know if I hit it, but that's home for peak right over there. You see what I mean now? This trail felt a little off the beaten path from other Flagstaff hikes, but I think that's what made this feel instantly special. It helps having beautiful weather too. A lot of the terrain and plant life on this hike is so different from even what you would see in Sedona. I'm sad I was a little late for the fall colors, but even this gave me the fix of fall that I needed. Pretty big view. And after a bunch of switchbacks, we were at the peak. When you get to the peak, check your All Trails app to make sure you don't miss any of the caves. You'll have to follow another trail at the top to find them. Honestly, we almost missed them because I forgot there were actually caves on this hike. Oh, and don't mind the wind. We got caves. I didn't know what to expect. This wasn't it, but it's very cool. How much money will it take for you to go down there? The answer was no thank you, yeah. but I decided I had to check it out. Ooh, we could go. Ooh, I got scared. I thought that was bat. <laughs> Thing tells me that there's spiders in here, so we're not gonna spend that much time, but quick little look around. The caves definitely attach. He is safe, I'm safe. We're gonna just call, call it that. Honestly, these caves were much darker and smaller than they appear in the video, so I'm not a total wind. After some exploration, it was time to go to the official peak of the hike. Mia and I have officially peaked on this hike and in life, I don't know. But the views are stunning and totally 360. Um, definitely part of Flagstaff I haven't seen. Got some farmland this way. And oh, Siri agrees, she likes it too. But yeah, I'm loving it. Now for the easy part. It's all downhill now. The trail itself was always incredibly easy to follow and would narrow out in some sections, but there was still plenty of room for others to pass. I could tell it's not a super well-known hike because we only saw a handful of other hikers, which is definitely rare for a Saturday. Almost done. As we made it to flat ground, the sun was beginning to set and all the plants around us appeared to just be glowing. It was magical, so we just took a second to take it all in. And then just like that, the hike was complete. and 45 minutes later and I can say this was one of the most surprising trails I've done. Honestly, driving up, I wasn't too excited about it, but it was a total surprise. And I think the reason for that is we got views of the things that people usually hike, like Humphreys Peak. So we just got to see a little bit of everything. We got the caves so cool out and it's just nice to go and see something different out in Arizona. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time on the rocks.